Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to give some tips or preparation uh, strategy for the KSET exam when you are near to the exam. So, what are the strategies or plans you should make for the exam? So, here if you take uh, the KSET exam, consists of two papers one is for general paper and another one is for uh, your uh, specific subject so paper one if you take what are the tips or the strategies you should make uh, before going to attend for the exam uh, and here are some tips or the suggestions uh, I am giving you for the preparation because uh, students used to ask me give a proper guidance or uh, strategy for the cassette exam uh, to crack the exam so how you can crack the exam uh, there must be some proper plan before if you want to uh, do any work you should make a proper plan then only it would be successful. So, paper one, if you take, first of all, what you should do, uh, you should uh, read and understand the GK syllabus completely. Okay, already on the website, KA website, they have given the syllabus. And uh, first of all, uh, everyone is uh, right now familiar with the GK syllabus because exam is. Uh, near uh, within one week you may have the exam uh, these are the tips those who have already prepared for the exam and those who are preparing for the exam so gk paper uh, as we can see here uh, there are 10 core subjects teaching aptitude research aptitude uh, comprehension communication all the core subjects if you take i have already explained uh, these topics in the previous videos you can go to the playlist uh, and uh, you can watch those videos you will get more information uh, so first of all uh, you should thoroughly understand the syllabus solve the previous year questions revise study materials or important notes okay uh, then how many hours you have to give? Read minimum one to two hours for general paper uh, in a day, and also focus on current affairs and daily news on research uh, and higher education because this uh, paper one is all about research and teaching aptitude. Okay, so that's why you should uh, read uh, the current affairs and news on research as well as higher education system solve reasoning problems more because reasoning uh, like logical or mathematical reasoning problems like quite uh, uh, um, uh, need practice uh, so solve uh, the questions related to them solve practice question uh, at the end what you have to do practice question or attend mock test that uh, we uh, you will come to know uh, how much uh, you have prepared and how you can solve uh, in uh, your exam main exam so total marks if you take for paper 1 100 marks and uh, 50 questions will be there okay so then for each uh, core subject uh, so overall 10 uh, topics are there for gk so from each topic five questions will be asked so each question carry uh, two marks okay then five into two ten marks question will be from each uh, core subject so total 100 marks how many marks you have to score from uh, the GK uh, paper, general paper? 
30 to 40 marks you have to score uh, to qualify the exam. This is for paper 1 I am telling. Out of 100 marks you have to score minimum 30 to 40 marks. Okay. Uh, GK paper uh, is uh, uh, also very important as the core subject because this will uh, give a score or uh, to qualify exam this paper one is also very helpful okay uh, so try to focus on that in a proper way so then uh, if you take paper two which is very very important okay like paper one uh, paper two also you should focus on the core subjects uh, do the analysis of the syllabus solve all previous year question papers okay revise from study materials or uh, your pg notes or return from specific book uh, how many hours you have to study minimum six to eight hours so in a day if you take uh, 12 hours if you live uh, whatever uh, the day to day life day to day work you do uh, 12 in 12 hours at least uh, you can get 6 to 8 hours you, those who are preparing seriously if you have any work minimum 6 hours at least you should give when you are reaching the exam near to the exam so revise uh, every important topic uh, from core subject for example physical science if you take there are 10 core subjects so any of the uh, specific subject if you take total uh, more than 40 subjects are there uh, in KSET exam they are conducting uh, so each of the subject will have minimum uh, 10 9 to 10 core subjects okay so revise each important topics from uh, the core subjects from the given syllabus remember all formulas important law standard equation because sometimes they may ask direct question on the uh, standard equations or laws so try to keep in mind solve practice question at the end after preparing uh, according to the given syllabus then you can attend mock test uh, to analyze yourself okay these are the tips you should follow and total marks for the paper 2 is a uh, um, many marks 20 200 marks for 100 question okay so then uh, if you take uh, there are how many core subjects 10 from each core subject minimum 10 to 11 questions will be asked okay uh, then you have to score here minimum 80 to 90 marks to qualify this is the qualifying marks 80 to 90 marks you should score compulsory uh, 30 to 40 marks for paper 1 paper 2 80 to 90 marks okay then only you can qualify the exam this is the qualifying marks but cutoff may be high or uh, minimum that depends upon uh, the exam uh, here gk paper 50 question uh, one hour time you will get because total three hours uh, duration will be there in your exam subject uh, paper if you take 100 question uh, 200 marks 2 hour within three hours you have to solve uh, paper 192 so gm candidates uh, 40 percent uh, you should uh, score uh, in the exam they have given here general uh, gm candidates from both the papers you should acquire 40 percent marks okay then uh, 40 percent uh, if you take both the papers 100 plus 200 300 marks will be there uh, so 300 marks uh, 40 percent means 120 marks have to score other students has to score uh, 35 percent that means 105 marks you have to score that's why i said you should score 80 to 90 marks from paper 2 
and from paper 1 30 to 40 marks so that you can reach the qualifying criteria gm 120 marks and others 105 marks so what will be the cutoff cutoff will always depend upon the paper whether it is easy or hard tough and how many candidates have attended the exam this is qualifying marks 120 and 105 uh, if maximum students have attended and uh, if paper is easy uh, then cutoff may be high or low okay these are the tips you should remember so first thing is to understand the syllabus com completely so all previous year question uh, revise uh, study material give proper time for paper 1 and 2 minimum 6 to 8 hours you can read and uh, uh, solve practice questions attend mock test so uh, and also qualifying marks you should also remember so these all are the important points uh, you should keep in mind and other than these some special study tips i am giving you uh, which will be backbone for your preparation so first tip is to prepare balance schedule for study because everyone uh, has their own study uh, pattern or plan according to their priorities uh, so you should uh, have a balance uh, schedule for study organize your study space along with hard work only uh, hard work is not only important you should do smart work because competition is very high along with hard work you should uh, do a smart work reading is not studying uh, when you read that doesn't means uh, that uh, you are uh, whatever you are reading that is going to be helpful reading and reading not that doesn't mean give meaning uh, you how much you have understood that is important and basics must be clear once your basics are clear then only uh, you can solve the questions in your exam and uh, only continuously reading also uh, uh, you, you are not going to grab things take intervals regular breaks you can take and uh, you must be keep yourself healthy drink plenty of water take uh, care of your good food health is always important and uh, spacing out is also good don't sit in a place for a long time uh, then stay focused and be confident okay and first of all i would suggest be self motivated so these all are the tips you should follow for the upcoming exam okay many of the students i hope uh, uh, those uh, preparing for the exam and uh, those who have already prepared and those candidates who are giving this exam for the first time uh, if you follow these tips then definitely you can crack the exam okay so finally i would like to say wish you all the best for your exam thank you thank you for watching i hope uh, this information is uh, helpful for you thank you